Roll for Crit is made possible thanks to the support of viewers like you and our patrons on our Patreon page. You can become a patron for just $1 a month at patreon.com slash roll for crit. Welcome to this Roll for Crit digital review of Wingspan. I'm Will and I'll be flying solo today. Now, there are technically two different versions of Wingspan digitally. There's the DLC for Tabletopia, and then there's the version we'll be taking a look at, and that's the standalone Wingspan made by Monster Couch. Now, if you don't know anything about Wingspan, Wingspan is an extremely popular game that's all about building up your bird sanctuary by gathering bird cards, building engines, and trying to get the most points. Throughout the game, you'll be getting different cards from the source, but you need food, which you'll get from a different track to play these birds. You'll also need eggs that you'll get from another track to play these birds into later slots. If you wanna know more about this, we actually have a review of the board game, as well as a how to play that you can take a look at in the links down below. Now, in terms of this digital version, it's gonna pretty much have a lot of the same mechanics. However, unlike the Tabletopia one, which is really simulating the board game experience, they take advantage of what the digital version should have to offer. For example, if you look at the menu here, not only can you play the Autonoma version, which is in the regular physical version of the board game, but you will have the option to play against other people online or in person, either against real people or AIs, which you can change their difficulty. When you choose a character, you get to choose a fun little avatar that is mostly just to identify who you are, as well as a special board. Not in difference except for art, but as you can see when you scroll through the landscapes, it's very beautiful. Of course, other than that, you will be still playing bird cards in different areas. They will have back buttons and situations where you can't go back because, for example, you rolled dice. You can't really go back and that kind of thing since that's information you didn't know. Some other cool nifty things they added, the birds, when you play them, they actually have little movements. And in addition, they will have their bird songs whenever you interact with the bird. Depending on what options you have, they will have a little entry they'll read out about the bird. Like you can listen to a quick one right here. Common raven. Ravens are omnivores whose diet includes insects, rodents, eggs, birds, and carrion. In addition, if you are interested in learning about these facts again, there's actually sort of a bird collection page in the menu. You can take a look at this, scroll through, and it'll show you all the birds that you have played so far. And if you want to, you can click them to hear their song again or hear that entry again. California condor. There were just 22 of these scavengers alive in the 1980s, but there are now over 200. Gameplay itself is relatively smooth. There are some things you'll probably need to get used to just being like, used to holding hand of cards versus clicking things and making sure that you know where the back button is. But overall, it's not too hard to get used to. There is a solid tutorial that should teach you most of the ins and outs that you'll need to know about wingspan. Now, I would like to mention that this is just currently the base of Wingspan, but I'm sure they could add all the new continents of birds coming in some later DLC or patches. What's intriguing about this edition is I feel like they really tried to capture everything that the original board game had to offer. I mean, yes, I love the mechanics of the physical Wingspan edition, but it's not just that. Wingspan is part of Stonemaier, which is known for the polish, and you can see that a lot in physical Wingspan. The art is beautiful, the components are great, and the digital version seems to carry this all over. The way you can scroll through between the different lanes, and it's not just, look, there's a board, which you can actually just see if you want to. You can scroll through and you hear the birds chirping and the art still looks different. Each player's area is gonna look different so you can feel like, oh, that's definitely the opponent's territory, but still is just beautiful. And the fact that they have all those different options. And of course, obviously, thank God they have online play because any board game that doesn't, not so great, especially now when we're all cooped up inside. The, in terms of the playing against the AI, it's probably gonna be a little simpler than the Automa system, but that's still fun to just try out, especially if you're trying to find that one bird card to complete that collection in the uh, catalog. In terms of playing with other people with each uh, in the same place, Wingspan has hands of cards and it is secret information. So unfortunately, I think it doesn't work out the greatest because then someone has to walk away from the screen depending on whether you're playing on a, like a TV or something or if it's a computer screen. 
And even then, uh, let's say you were playing on something smaller that could be easily be passed around. There are moments such as between activations or cards like the uh, Red Throat Hummingbird that you can choose whether or not to trigger. And if it's someone else's turn, you'd be like, have to pass it along really quickly, not just when it's actually that person's turn. It doesn't work the greatest by itself. Now, I do want to know if you do want to play with other people, they need to own a copy of the game, unlike the tabletop simulator. So each person needs to have their own copy. You'll make a username in the database, and then you can either match up with the people you want to play with or start a custom game and uh, hope for people to fill up in the lobbies. It does say currently that you can join a Discord if you're looking for specific people and be like, hey, I'm looking for a game with these custom rules or I just want to be able to find a game to fit five people. Because sometimes with these digital versions of board games, it can be a little hard to to find the right play group just because there aren't that many people around at the time that you're looking for. Crits and misses for Wingspan Digital. Crits. It covers any kind of game mode you want, whether you want to play just with AIs that are a little simpler or against the autonomous system that is included in the base game or even play with people with you on the couch or online. One of my favorite things about the physical version of Wingspan is the art, and this digital version is no exception. The way that the birds move and they add the calls, as well as the way the board looks and can rotate between the different environments is just such a fantastic thing to watch as well as play. The game takes full advantage of its digital platform, allowing birds to add their calls and extra movements. But if you're not interested in all that stuff, there are plenty of options for you to adjust the game in the way that you see is best for you. Misses. In terms of online play, you will need to have everyone you want to play with own a copy of this game. This is really a miss only because there is that digital tabletopia version, which while it doesn't have all the splendor art and sound effects, it does really only require one person to have it to play it together. In terms of the co-op couch mode, it's a little bit annoying because there are hands with secret information. People have to sort of look away or try to avoid the screen when it's not their turn in order to see information that they're not supposed to have. I think the only real big misses about this game is the fact it's competing with sort of itself in terms of the other versions of Wingspan. In terms of playing all together in the same room, the physical version sort of has it beat in terms of being able to hide information much easier and also being the original game and you'll have access to those expansions much quicker. Now, in terms of playing online, the other version is cheaper for everyone where you just need the DLC on Tabletopia. It's a much lower price. And then you have to decide whether you're willing to pay extra for that beautiful art and sound and all the different game modes. And I think it is actually a pretty good price for that. If you're playing mostly by yourself, being able to play with the Automa or playing with the AIs is really nice because they really do take advantage of the extra digital options you can do. You know, with Tabletopia, you have to still take care of all that stuff, which if you've ever played a solo game that is of the medium to higher range of difficulty or even just finagling of pieces, it can be a real pain. I do enjoy the solo of Wingspan, but you know, it's still, you have to take care of everything. Because it's digital, this will take care of all that. And those, hearing all the different bird calls and in essence having what I like to call a Pokedex, for the birds is just so much fun. And uh, it actually secretly sort of tricks you into being like, okay, I know the ravens and crows are really powerful, but I haven't played all the uh, the finches yet. I gotta collect them and try to get them to play that way. So it, it like unintentionally makes you try out new strategies or at least a new bird to see how that goes. And it's so polished, it just feels so fun to play. So much so that even though I think I'd probably prefer the tabletop version just cause it's, smoother playing with other people. It will be fun to play this with some people, especially if they are, uh, I cannot remember the exact word, but you know, bird enthusiasts and be able to play the card. Like, sure, they'll might know what you're in your hand, but everyone's gonna have a lot of fun when you get to play these cards and hear their calls when you interact with them and just scroll through and see all that beautiful art. Uh, it, that is my personal opinion, but in the end, you'll have to decide if that extra price is worth it for you. You can let me know if you've played the digital versions of Wingspan, if this does sound like something up your alley, or if you've only played the physical and whether this is something you're going to look into now. You can let me know in those comments down below. But until then, I'm Will, and this has been a Roll for Crit digital review. Here's an idea. Support our Patreon or like and subscribe to this channel for more. Subscribing gives you a plus two to your charisma stat. 